This is Twit. You know, AI is is finding its way into everything. We talked about Bard a little bit earlier. ChatGPT just seems like a you know a thread that's not going anywhere anytime soon. So how is it working its way into the products that we use, the apps that we use in useful ways? And uh, Google announced that Workspace is getting a bunch of AI features, specifically a slew of generative AI features uh, for many of the core products. So things like drafting, replying, summarizing, and prioritizing your Gmail, which they kind of already do some of those things from like a, a basic perspective. But some of the stuff is really interesting, like... like um, Replying, I think I saw an example where you, you know, you're sending an email to someone because you want them to cover something because someone else is out. And so, you know, instead of writing the email to the person, hey, could I get you to pick this thing up, blah, blah, blah. It's like you, you ask the AI and you say, I need you to write an email to this person to let them know that, um, that someone else can't, you know, cover this and can you do it? And what the AI is able to do, from my understanding anyways, from this little demo that it showed, is it has the information from the other emails that you have to understand who the person was that was scheduled to be there, why they can't do it. And, you know, to, it basically pulls in all this information in the response and gives this purely contextual reply or email to this person Instead of, you know, it's just so interesting how this is all planning out. Also a little, a little bit like, ah, really? Whoa, whoa, slow down. You don't need to go into all my other email to like to figure this out. But it really just depends, I think, on your comfort level. Like, are you comfortable giving over, you know, handing the keys to this system to have this knowledge in, in uh, you know, in, in exchange, it's really useful because it writes, you know, it's, it's able to do this work for you. So I think that's the question that it's, people have to answer it's for crazy. themselves. It's, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, brainstorming, proofreading, writing, rewriting in docs, uh, bringing, they say, your creative vision to life with auto-generated images, video, audio, and slides. Like you can point a, uh, you know, a, a, a PDF or, you know, a bunch of work that you're doing and say, I want you to create a slide deck around this. And it's not that it just like pulls out things wholesale and just goes, all right, here's page three, but in a slide, like it draws these correlations and it is really weird how it works. Like the way that we're, that we create these docs, if this is where we're starting right now in five years, you know, a lot of the drudge work that people have been doing in the office is going to be a lot easier. I'm imagining based on what, what Google was showing off here. Um, they say go from raw data to insights and analysis via auto completion, formula generation, contextual categorization and sheets. So, so you might tell sheets, you know, not, I, you might not know how to create a formula, but you might know how to explain what you need and you explain what you need and it creates the formula. Like that's super mm -hmm. powerful. How many times am I in sheets? And I'm like, I just wanted to do yeah. this thing, but I have no idea where to begin. So I start doing my searches, my Google searches and, you know, find some stack overflow forum, you know, thing and oh, try, God, and, and try to do the formula. Oh you know? man, I've been just, there. Uh. <laughs> you know, instead just be like, I just, I just want this number to appear there based on some of this other information. And it creates oh. the formula for you. Awesome. Uh, generating new backgrounds and, and capture notes in Meet, enabling workflows for getting things done in chat, whatever that means. So AI coming into the Google workspace environment to make things a little easier, says Google. I'd be curious to play around with it. I'm sure we're going to get access to it in the tools that we're already using uh, relatively soon. But uh, pretty neat stuff. Yeah. Would you agree? Yeah. I, yeah. I agree. Yeah, yeah. for sure. So we'll see. Don't That's forget trippy. the I'm That's feeling sure. lucky button. What, is that? <laughs> what does that do? Do we even still have that? Is that on? Oh, I didn't I didn't even catch that. Yeah, it's it's in there. Uh, I, I don't. I mean, that's a good question. What does it do? <laughs> but <laughs> you would just there. open it's up. Down, it's there like in the in the bottom. Lucky. So let's here. I'm just going to give you an option here in a second to what. Uh, Okay, so this has to do with Docs and Gmail, writing things. You've jotted down a few bullets on your phone from a recent meeting. You want to transform them into a more polished summary to share with your team. 
For these scenarios and many more, we're adding new generative AI capabilities to help you rewrite. And if you're in the mood to let AI try out a new playful voice altogether, you'll be able to hit the I'm feeling lucky button uh, in Gmail. So it's like, okay, let's see what you come up with. Boom. <laughs> you have cancer. Oh, oh, no, okay. <laughs> delete. Delete. <laughs> delete. No, no. Horrible. Not true. Oops, Bad move, Google. Back up, not back true. Up. Not true. Mm -mm. Yeah, not true. Oh, uh, call back to pre-show. Yes. Yeah. Anyways, uh, interesting stuff. Would love to. I mean, th this stuff is v incredibly useful as long as it works. But I think we're kind of heading into this, into the territory of it not being perfect. As we talked about in pre-show, this none of this stuff is perfect, but it's a lot more useful now than it used to be. It's a lot better at doing this stuff now than it ever used to be. And that's what I think people are getting really excited about. It's within the realm, you know, again, not perfect, but it's within the realm of usability to where it's like, okay, actually, I could use 80% of what this just gave me, and that would be incredibly helpful. Which yeah, is like I the starting... The, sorry, yes. after you win. Yeah. No, go. No, go ahead. You, you were. You were. I was gonna say this is just the start. Yeah. This is just the starting point of like the, of the of the wave. You know. So mm -hmm. win after you. Oh yeah, and I I think like I I know like part of it is like oh yeah, so now my whole job can be done by Chat GPT, and I think like a lot of other without getting into the very tricky subject of automation kind of in a broad sense that, you know, when you're at a new company and maybe you're just out of college and you don't know how to write like businessy things, or you don't kind of, you don't have, ex you, like a lot of times you, you know, even as an engineer, I get asked to write reports or like estimates or like summarize things or to kind of like, you know, learn how to communicate with other teams. And, you know, especially in like, it, in some companies, they don't teach you how to do that. And you don't, you know, you're kind of just like trying to figure out how to do it on your own. Imagine having a really good starting point to be like, okay, here's how like generally, here's a good way of starting to, to, to communicate these kind of things. And here are like kind of patterns in how like people like to like, you know, generate these kind of reports or generate these kind of presentations. And it's not like it's doing everything for you, but it's kind of giving you a starting off point. So it kind of does like the drudge work. And then there's still an element of creativity. There's still an element of context that you need to bring to every, every single thing. It reminds me a lot of like the updates and even in like programming development that I've experienced it's like nothing's ever going well that's not true it hasn't replaced me yet it's just made me able to do the core of my job faster and better and mm. so i i love it. especially as someone who's worked a lot of big corporate jobs i would have loved as a new graduate to have someone help me write things because i don't know am i gonna get fired because i didn't you know use the right template on this letter or this email i don't know so i don't know i, I just have a lot of like um sympathy for just the the day-to-day -day quality of life improvements that this kind of stuff brings anyway yeah very very sympathetic yeah. to it totally agree. um tech break is brought to you by aci learning aci learning is a lifelong career training partner for audit cybersecurity, and information technology professionals transforming how employers train and professionals learn while following global standards for certification and career development training. See why ACI Learning is trusted and loved worldwide. Visit go.acilearning.com slash twit to learn more.